Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Natural State Rebels. Today's video, we are exploring Utah and we're looking for three rocks and the truth. Stick around and find out what that's all about. Oh, there's a Jeep up there. Be done. We're coming upon our first rock. We've actually been by this place a couple of times, but the first time we were in a, a hurry and we weren't able to visit, and now, and the last time they were closed when we were by here. So finally, we get to come to Hole in the Rock. So here we are outside Hole in the Rock. Uh, got a big lizard up here on the rock. So apparently in the 1940s, a man named Albert Christensen decided to build a house here and he carved a 5,000 square foot house out of this rock. And he built a diner for people to, to come eat. I don't know if the diner's still open or not, but anyway, he died in the 1950s, but his wife Gladys continued to run the diner until her death in the 70s. And they're both buried here somewhere on the property. So we're gonna go look around. Looks like there's a lot to look at. We're gonna go look around. Petting zoo, petting zoo, general store, trading post, and then we're gonna tour the house too. Yeah. So it's gonna be cool. Yeah, and there's a, also, a, I guess Mr. Christensen who who did the, who uh, built this place also carved a memorial to Franklin D. Roosevelt. I guess he liked him. <laughs> right inside the rock. Yeah, so we've got some cactus here. And this, is this what they call choya? Or, I don't know. I'm not sure what kind of cactus this is. There's so many things here. I'm not really sure where to go to first. <laughs> it's a pretty good sculpture though. Yeah, it is. I guess you could just walk around out here on the grounds and then you can go tour the house. Uh, the house is, I guess, in here. Obviously there's the, there's the wall they have built. Uh-oh, we have rare Bigfoot sighting. A rare Bigfoot sighting 95 yards away. Oh my gosh, do you remember these little things? Oh my gosh, did that, does this bring back memories? If you're old like us. Uh, oh my gosh, look at these things. I used to remember riding these things out in front of the grocery stores back in the day. They had put a sign on that, I'm old, no one over 80 pounds, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I used to release around these. Okay, I guess we can't go in that way. I have to go around. Don't make me come down there, God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll try to be nice today. I'm hoping they're gonna let us film in here, I don't know. So, we weren't allowed to film in there, so. It was just a, uh, not, yeah, artwork and stuff here, but they've got to look at this thing. <laughs> That's a lot of bull. <laughs> no bull riding. Right no bull riding. Look at that. It's made out of a bunch of different kinds of metal and... Time to make oh my that. goodness. Springs and hinges and There's all kinds of stuff. Oh, railroad spikes. Oh yeah, railroad spikes. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. Wow. A big old, look at the size of that wrench there. Six wood, I don't know. Did it say wood? Woo, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the wrench. You got a cast iron skillet. A skillet, they got all kinds of stuff. That's funny. Oh my goodness. These tools, spark plugs. Spark plugs, Closets. yeah. Ladles, gears. Gears. Balls. Cannonballs. Hatchet. Is that a hatchet? Oh, yeah. Blade, yeah. There's a newer lock. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's got a lot of a lot of different stuff here. That's pretty cool. To back up and let you have a, a peek of the whole thing. Huh. All right. They got this thing. Out. I've never seen one of those. I've seen those, but not in person. Okay, where do we go? They got a wall of license plates over here. Zoo over there, we go to the zoo. 
Oh yeah, we gotta go to the zoo. Yeah. Are there any Arkansas license plates on there? Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's from Canada. It's in the shape of a bear. That's pretty oh, that's cool. cool. Oh, there's an Arkansas one right there. There's an old Arkansas one right there. Yeah, 1956, Land of Opportunity is what it used to be called. Yeah, it's a Land of Opportunity. They, they realized that was a lie, so they put <laughs> the natural state is a better fit. <laughs> so here's something else that we found. Look at this thing. It's a Jeep with a bunch of... Well, they, they lined it with Colorado license plates on the inside. But the seats have got all kinds of tools and got locks hanging from the rearview mirror area. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Look at the Jeep way up there. Can you see it? It's right up there. That's crazy. We're gonna go in here and feed the animals in the zoo. He's a rebel. I'm a rebel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look so. at our bucket of. We got our bucket of. No, I haven't. We got our bucket of goodies to feed to the. The camel can only eat the apples and the carrots, but everybody else can eat the grains that are down inside there too. This was ten dollars for this little bucket. All right, we gotta do the got token. Little, how do we do? Does it just go right in there, I guess? Uh, unlocks it, I guess, for both of us to go through. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Long stuff. Three legs, blown one, missing. Right here, tail broken, recently castrated. Is that ready? It gets the grains down here. That's what they're used to eating out of these things. I didn't realize I have to do that. These kids sticking there waiting. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, you're a bully, huh? Here's Jane Doe. Jane Doe. Well, look at the dog. Oh. Oh, you we gotta. gotta you gotta feed Jane Doe through the pipe. Well. And it looks like she already has snacks. Yeah, she's not wanting to. That's a fallow. She's a fallow deer. What's his name? You got it. Oh. It's a a oh, oh, aren't you precious? <laughs> aren't you precious? Oh, look at him! He was talking about it. Oh, you uh -oh. thought. Oh, look at you! Aren't you precious? He just wants your food. He doesn't want your pet. I know. He just wants my food. Oh. What's up with your buddies over here? They don't want snacks. This is an African wat Watusi. His name is Henry. That's Henry. Is that a cactus made of bowling balls? Oh, yeah, it's made of bowling balls. Nigerian dwarf goats. Oh. <laughs> oh, aren't you cute? Oh, you are just precious. You are just precious. Here, I'll give you an apple. Since the other guy got an apple, I'll give you one too. <laughs> Look at their little whiskers. I'm gonna bite oh. your finger. <laughs> I think it's a carrot. Oh, you're scary looking. Like, I'm not scary. I'm you are big. scary looking. Can I, I pet you? Look, like I'm just big. <gasps> oh, he's letting me pet him. This is an African Watusi. Looks like a bull to me. Yeah, looks like a bull to me too, but. Oh, his poor mouth was... Oh, you got some southern teeth there, dude. <laughs> got some bubba teeth. You got some bubba teeth. <laughs> He's like, I can't help it. I thought that said redneck. Ringneck dub. <laughs> it's like redneck dub. I got the bubba teeth too. Cooper camel. Hey, Cooper. What are you holding your leg up for? Carrots What's and apples only. Doing? He gets carrots and apples only. Oh, that's a good diet. That's a good diet. Can I get a close up of you chewing? <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, are you going to eat the fence? <laughs> He's like, no, I love those. He just keeps doing those. <laughs> He's got a healthy looking coat. Yeah, he does. He's pretty. Okay, let's get a carrot in there. Look at that. 
Oh, that's a loud crunch. Oh, that's a loud crunch. Yeah. <laughs> You're chewing it up, dude. That's a loud crunch. There. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him. Are you going to pose like, for us? Are you, gonna, are, you giving, are you trying to do tricks? Are you doing tricks for, for snacks? Tricks for snacks? Okay. Because like, I'll do some tricks, you give me some snacks. <laughs> that's how this is going to work. You going to kiss? Camel kisses. That wouldn't be a very good yeah, kiss. Yeah, no, I don't want to kiss. It's funny because their upper lip is like two different fingers almost. You got a crazy upper lip. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't want to make this a mad. They'll start spitting on me. Is this the spitting zone? Are you a spitter? There's Noel and Candy. They want some food. Well, let's help them out. They can bite. Please do not feed your fingers to our animals. I like your hair, dude. <laughs> There's an old neon sign. I wonder if that lights up at night. That would be cool. There's a lot of stuff to look at over here. Oh, a Silver Spur Motel. Got <laughs> U.S. Army property. This is how they used to brainwash you before they had the news. <laughs> yeah, this was pre-news brainwashing. <laughs> well, after much searching, we found Bigfoot. So apparently, this is where Albert and his wife. Gladys were buried. He died in 1957 and she died in 1974. Oh, she died the year I was born. So then you gotta go to jail. Oh no, I'm in here with a dead body. Oh, there's the ball and chain. There's the ball and chain. There's the ball and chain. Oh my gosh, is that what they put around their ankle? Wow, that had to be uncomfortable. It makes it hard to run away. So where's my grains I can feed you to here? <laughs> Your yeah, bucket. Yeah. <laughs> you got your feed bucket. My feed bucket. That's my water bucket. You got Skeletor in there. Yeah. Headless. A headless Skeletor. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't take you on the tour of the inside of the house because they don't allow videography in there. But it is really something to see. If you're ever in this area uh, south of Moab, Utah, you definitely need to stop in here and see Hole in the Rock. I thought that it was built within 12 years, but was it 20, 20 years? years? It was 20 years total, I think, that it took them. And they blasted it out with dynamite, dynamite on the inside. And wow, it was it's really something to see. They were gonna make an upstairs, or actually gonna make oh, a yeah. stairs that go up to the top of the rock for like a rock garden for his wife. But he died. unfortunately, he died only five, he only had five years in the house before he died of a heart attack. I know, I feel so bad for him. And she lived until 1974. Yeah. Now, so 20 years she had in the house without him. Yeah. But it's frozen in time. So if you like things that are just left alone, yeah. just like it looked back then, that's, and it's really cool on the inside. It was cooler than I thought it was going to be. And they have to have no heating and air because it's... The same it's, temperature all year Well, she said like 65 to 72 degrees year round. Year so round, no matter what. Yeah. And the diner closed, I guess, in the 50s or 60s before, before uh, she died. Yeah. But... Um, the rest of the stuff that we toured on the outside that we could show you was all added by the, the owner, the current owners who bought it in the year 2000, I think. And they added the, yeah, the trading post, the pets, uh, pet, the petting zoo, and all the other stuff out here that you've seen. So it really is worth coming to see if you're in the area. Um, so we are off to our second rock, which is the next on our itinerary. Here we've made it to our second rock of the day. This is called Church Rock. And there's a lot of folklore about this rock. A lot of people think that um, the hole that is in the rock was actually blasted out to make a church in the future, and that's why it's called Church Rock. But actually, it was dynamited out by the property owner in the 1940s so that he could store salt licks and feed for his cattle. It's so cool to see the different layers of rock 
on this one rock, you've got the bottom layer that's red and the middle layer that's kind of yellowy or orangish and then you've got kind of the dome part on top that's a different color. It's just so interesting to see the different layers of rock. I'm not really sure what causes those distinct colors, but they're so pretty. And today with all the clouds, it's just, you see so many different clouds out here. It's just so cool. All different types of clouds. And then you can see the sun hitting certain areas of the rocks when the clouds, you know, when it's not behind the clouds and it just, it's just such a pretty, pretty picture. So we found the truth y'all, at least the home of truth. <laughs> this little area right here is, uh, was once called the home of truth. And it's got a really cool story that goes with this. This is now private, it's private property, so we're not gonna get on it. But anyway, it's a very interesting story that goes along with this place right here. Um, let's see if I can remember all the story. There was a lady, uh, and she was married, and she lived in New Jersey. Her name was Marie Ogden. And uh, she and her husband were wealthy. And when her husband died, this was in the early 1930s, when her husband died, she was very heartbroken. And so she turned to religion to find some answers, but she ended up getting mixed up with the occult. And she opened a center called the Center for Truth in New Jersey. And um, she claimed that she would get these divine messages from God through her typewriter. And so she gained a little bit of a following there and she eventually she said that God led her to this little place in uh, this little plot of land here in Utah in San Juan County and told her to move there and so she did and this it was kind of supposed to be like a post op post apocalyptic utopia she claimed that the end of the world was coming and uh, this was the site where Christ's second coming was going to be. So, you know, she was a little out there, but anyway, she actually gained some following as she was here and she started a newspaper and so she could still get her message out to the people. And the people that lived here with her, you know, she, they pretty much gave up all their belongings and they weren't allowed to consume alcohol or tobacco or meat. They had to live a very strict vegetarian diet. And there were about 20 buildings on the property at one time. But now you can see there's just very few left. And she did live here on the property. And at one point she had about 100 followers here, but it, it got to the point where it was just really weird. There were some really weird, strange things going on that... Um, that she would do and it kind of caught on and so people started leaving a little bit over time and then eventually it got down to about seven people that were living here with her and what really set off the whole main thing that they shut down the the place was there was a lady that came here and she had cancer and she was promised a cure for her cancer but she ended up dying and Marie Ogden refused to bury her uh, claiming that the lady would come back to life. And so her followers, they preserved this lady's body and they fed her milk and eggs for two months after she died. If that ain't creepy, I don't know what is. Anyway, so that pretty much was the end of the of her little commune here, if you want to call it that. And so a lot of people, most people left. I think the diehard followers stayed with her uh, for a few more years and then um, it just fell into disrepair and I think they ended up closing the place and she ended up moving to a nursing home uh, in Blanding, Utah, which is close to here. So so the, it, then the property was sold in auction and now it is a private property, but it's still kind of a really cool story and um, I just wanted to, to share that with you. This was called the Home of Truth and over here in a minute we'll see the 
sign that said Marie's Place on it over here. Here's the sign that says Marie's Place. I think it might have hung right there at one time, but anyway, it's pretty cool. And you sure can't beat the scenery out here. We're off to the final third rung. We've made it to our third and final rock of the day, Newspaper Rock, and this is actually in the uh, Bears Ears National Recreation Area, and they've got a lot of uh, information here if you want to to read about it. But this is free, and there's a little trail, I guess, over here that we're going to walk on to actually go see. Two thousand years of people writing stuff on the wall here. It says prehistoric peoples, probably from the archaic basket maker Fremont and Pueblo cultures, etched on the rock from BC time to AD thirteen hundred. Well, they don't know if they mean storytelling, if they were doodling, if they were talking about hunting, magic, clan symbols, ancient graffiti, or something else. They really don't know. So, so they don't know what it means. I guess it's just. Didn't they say that this was uh, the biggest collection of... One of the biggest in the world. One of the biggest in the world of petroglyphs. Oh, wow. Wow, that rock sure looks cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Looky there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, cool. Setting. Look at that. Huh. There's some over there, too. That is one weird looking monster right there. Was it <laughs> above the hand? Do you see where the hand is? What is it? Oh, that yeah. guy looks funky. Oh, there's a bison there. Somebody's something's a 1755 below the hand. So, oh, yeah, JR. JR 1755. So people have been vandalizing this for de uh, centuries. Well, that may be the same with the ancient people. Maybe they come along here too. It's like, you know what? I see your drawing. Let me put my drawing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that a flying squirrel up there at the top? <laughs> oh, yeah. Flying squirrel. Oh, the big horn sheep. A big horn sheep. A lot of bison. Yeah, a lot of deer, maybe. Well, it may not be flying squirrel. Maybe like their pelts or whatever. Like you can get oh, squirrel yeah. pelts or something. Or that's true. The furs they traded with. Wow, that's really cool. Look at that. There looks like, there's one that's like a snail or a butterfly there. I don't know. I just don't get why, how some of them have people with horns on their heads. Unless that's how they used to dress. Oh, you know, a lot of your in, uh, Native American people had all those headdresses and stuff that they wore. You know, yeah. like in their, when they did their little dances or their whatever. Yeah. There's all kinds of, yeah, I, I could see their, the one with the horseback over here. Oh yeah, the guy, the rider he's, on the horseback. shooting an arrow at the deer. Yeah. Or elk or whatever. Somebody with four toes on their feet. <laughs> Footprints <laughs> with four toes. There's one with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight toes. Oh yeah, that's a foot. I guess that's what that's supposed to be is a foot right there, I guess. Uh, bear claw, and they just didn't know how many claws they had. I don't know. There's some way up there. Oh yeah, they go over here. I guess they would probably just lean up something against it and climb up it and then etch it in there. I don't know, but... I mean, that's cool. Just the overhang there up above. It's almost like a picture frame. <laughs> I'll try to put up my drone a little bit and see if I can fly it right here.
three rocks and the truth that we went looking for, but we just could not quit driving. This is, I've just got to show you this scenery. This is so pretty. A big lake over here is part of it's frozen. Wow, look at there. Every curve you take, it seems like just these mountainous rocks just come up from nowhere. Like you never know what's going to happen when you turn the corner. It's so cool. But we are we are very close to Canyonlands National Park. We're not going there today. That'll be in a, a future video. So stay tuned for that one. like the the brown one there with the black mane and the black front legs <laughs> oh you got some looks like some dookie balls in your fur there dude <gasps> hello oh this has made my whole day y'all have no idea he's got some cockle birds or something in his mane oh they're all in his tail Oh, they're in all of their stuff. Oh, you are so pretty. Oh, I love this one right here. Oh, you are beautiful. Oh, you're so pretty. It's okay. Oh, you are so... Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad though. They have all those little cockle burrs all in their fur and their tails and their mane. You know what, I'd name you Durango. That's what, I would call you Durango. <laughs> oh, I love you, you're so pretty. Thanks for watching everybody. If you really wanna help our channel grow, just watch another video, this one or that one. Just click it, go ahead, right here. Click it, you like that one better. Just pick one of them. And in the meantime, live, live in, in the, the sunshine. sunshine.